but people have messed up how he can put things back together. And this one man that wrote this song, John Newton, talks about that amazing grace. And the glory of God, that amazing grace is here this morning. What you feel, that peace is God. And what he wants to do is make himself real to every one of us. And show each one of us what he is more than able to do. Not only in our lives, but other people's lives. Maybe, well, let's do it this way. Not only in other people's lives, but our lives. Because a lot of times we think God can do other things for other people. No. God loves you just as much as he loves anybody else. He died for you. If you had been the last person on the earth, you. Some of us think we're better than everybody else. No, you ain't. Some of us think that you're worse than everybody else. No, you ain't. Because we've all been be made in the image of God. Born into sin. Original sin because of not anything we had to do with this thing, but our parents. So that doesn't mean we could do any better. I'm sure we did. We couldn't. We'd probably do a lot worse, but that's not the point. The point is we were born into sin because of what Jesus did on that cross. As we turn our lives over to Him, we're free from sin. I want you to realize and think what that amazing grace is all about. See, a lot of times we think, yeah, 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 God's God, you know, it says on about. He wants to have a personal experience with us. Where he makes himself so real to us that you just know that you know that you can't do this by yourself. Amen. Then he shows you how right we really are, but then he shows you how gracious he really is. And in spite of all, he still likes us and loves us, and he wants us, no matter what we've done or still doing, he's there to forgive us and heal us and set us free. You know, he's here. Let him, just open your heart up and just let him show you, make himself real to you. Now, we're not talking about denominations. We're not talking about church. I know some of you are here for the wedding. And, you know, No, we're not talking about church. We're talking about this, a relationship with God. Amen? So really just raise your hand, do whatever you want. Really get into this.
so complicated. I just think about everybody, you know, they got to work at this, I got to do this, I got to do that. No, we don't. All we need to do is get down, look in the mirror and say, you know what, you can't do this thing. But God, you said your word, you can do it. And I'm starting to believe that you can do it because I can. But you can't do what? You can't live an overcoming life. So many of us are destroying ourselves, our families, and everybody else. And don't really want to, but we don't know anything else. We don't understand it. Especially when you're trying. And that's where God wants to take over. I mean, believe that. And if you don't, I just pray He'll show you that today, because that is His plan. That's the bottom line of Christianity, to set us free. And once we're free, listen to this, once we're free, then we open ourselves up and allow God to work in us. Then He'll tell us about churchiosity and religiosity, whatever that stuff is. And then we're not going to, it won't bother us because we won't be, we will hold back from our tithes and our offerings. We're going to have a passion in our heart to go out and share this gospel with other people because of what he's done to us. We want them to have what we have. You know, when you get something, I mean, you know, as a little kid, when you got something, you got your little truck and the next door neighbor, a little boy about your age, come over and there's only one little truck and you start... He started looking at your truck. You know, that's my truck. <laughs> and that's the way we are from the time we're this big until the time. Right. I hope you understand what I'm saying. But you see, not, not when God gives you his grace, his glory, his redemption. Because it's so wonderful that this is one time you want to not only share it with everybody else, but you're more than willing to go out and labor to bring him in. Amen? Amen? So we do a lot of that. In fact, we're just going to let everybody know what we do. So bring the crosses in. We've got a bunch of old guys that live down at our shelter and some of our disciples that they'll just take this cross, crosses, and they just well, carry them up, up and down the streets. Can you imagine, imagine people? You know, here's the deal. If a lot of family members would see people that are really messed up, so really messed up, carrying one of these crosses, they wouldn't believe it. <coughs> anyway, how you doing? What are you doing out there carrying one of those crosses? Uh, we're preaching. What's happening to you since you've been here? Uh, let's see here. Hmm. Gotta be quick now. Start reading the Bible, start reading uh, a few other books. Uh, realize that there's only one thing to do is look up towards the Lord and ask for forgiveness and ask uh, for guidance. Um, met a lot of different people, different personalities, um, got kicked out, um, got head buttoned. Got... We're both got a bruise on our head. Oh, oh yes, I do. I've got one. Oh, come on now. Come on. <laughs> but, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we got 849 um, recognitions. Either people honked or waved or said some light. Um, but, you know, it, it was real fun. You know, it's, we were from, uh, we went from uh, 35th, or no, 43rd and Van Buren all the way here. Um, and we met a lot of people, talked to a lot of people. We actually had a guy get up, you know, pick up the cross, and start walking with it. What are you, one of the guys that you met? Uh, yeah, it was one of the guys that was Hispanic, obviously. Uh, <laughs> anyway, all right. You know what he's saying. What does that mean? He's been in an orphanage, kicked around all his life, and he came here. Oh, and, uh, no, it's my turn. <laughs> and he's, he's came in our program because he couldn't quite make it. Not only the real world, but upstairs. And he's been flourishing. Now, you know, I love this. I just really love this little rascal. Ornery is sin, but God's getting a hold of it and changing it. In fact, he's in a mission now. He didn't get kicked out. 
he's getting disciplined. In a couple of weeks, now it's my turn. In a couple of, now you stay here and behave yourself. In a couple of weeks, he'll be coming back. Now every Friday night, you didn't butter it again. Last Friday, every Friday night, we go to Bell Avenue. And you'll never forget this. I won't. He's got all the energy you could ever imagine at 18 years old. He's buzzing up down the streets carrying his cross. I turned around, and here's a guy in a wheelchair. He's got a guy in the wheelchair with his cross over his shoulder. The guy in the wheelchair is carrying his cross. And he's right beside him. Then yet that last Friday night, man, he's buzzing up down the streets with his cross. And every time he could buy it, it seemed like he'd have somebody with him. Hey, talk to this pastor here. He's the boss. Then he'd take off again. But the point is, what God is able to do with a bunch of people that haven't found the answer yet, God can help them. Now, we're going to stay on him. We're going to tan his little hide when it needs to be tanned. But we're going to love him. Amen. So, nah, poop. How was it? First time? How long have you been in the mission? Four or five days around the time. I should go ahead. How was it out there for you? Great. What do you think about all this? I love it. How long have you been in the mission? 15 days. 15 days. God bless you. Who's your little friend? I don't know. Well, we found her at cast. I was walking with the cross from, from that house all the way over there, and I got tired, so I sat it down, and then this little girl just came by and picked it up and started walking away with it. I was like, okay. I'm going to take that up. Your parents are here. Let me tell you something. We got some little whippersnappers in here that need a little pruning themselves. But I'll tell you something. God will do the pruning. But God's the one that puts the passion in people's hearts to give us life to show us what the answer is. Amen? Amen. Hey, Pastor Wall, I just got to say, it's really humbling, man, because, you know, this cross is only two by six, and they got wheels. I mean, Jesus carried it, and it was six by six, and they had no wheels. That's, like, Amen. that's a lot. I mean, and then when this little girl came up and picked it, that just lets you know. I mean, <laughs> you know, she's probably a better Christian than all of us in here. <laughs> you say, what are you talking about? Because she hasn't reached the age of accountability yet. She just loves Jesus and she looks at us as adults say, why do you do those dumb things? <laughs> Mommy, how come you have this other man here when daddy's not here? Well, <laughs> Mommy, why are you sticking that deal in your arm? I mean, you hear what I'm talking about. But thank God God's come. God bless you. Oh, very good. Uh, by the way, now we pray for a lot of people. There was uh, one that was really hurting. I don't think she understood what, what we were praying for, but I just asked for her for her. She was very distraught. Hey, Amen. Let's pray for her. In fact, how many need prayer here this morning? Pastor Randy, would you up here and pray for us all? And this lady. You pray for this lady, and uh, Randy will pray for the rest of you. Dear Heavenly Father, I'm not sure who the lady was, what, what her problem was, I just know that you have her situation in hand, and that we've asked you to come into her heart and just help her wherever she's at. And I thank you that you put us on her path. Amen. 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 God, we just lift up the needs of the members of the congregation here today to you, God, especially the men and women of the discipleship program. God, I just pray that you would meet their needs, just encourage them, strengthen them, uh, give them the determination to complete the vow that they made to you, God. Just speak to them uh, today through this service, God. We're just so grateful to be here in your presence today. This is a special day, Lord, and, and we're just uh, so excited to be a part of uh, what you're doing here at Church on the Street. And it's so easy to come to you and uh, ask for things okay. over and over and over and over again. But God, we just want to lift up your name today and praise you and just thank you for where you have brought us from, God. That now uh, you've, you've pulled us out of the pit and uh, you've set us on uh, a rock. And that rock is Jesus Christ. And we're just so thankful. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 God bless you. Give the Lord a good praise, God. You know what we do now? We can hear the word of.